Welcome back. Another day on Kurt's Bug. And uh, boy, we got some work to do. Uh, on the last few episodes, you saw us get the floor pans cut out. We got the front of the frame patched up and got everything ready for new floor pans. But we're not doing floor pans today. I need to change directions just a little bit. The weather's turned here in the Midwest. It's starting to get cold and it's going to be freezing pretty soon. Uh, looks like I have got about a week of some nice weather left and I need to do some sandblasting on the body. I did look at uh, farming it out, just having somebody do it for us, and the cost was just, uh, it was just more than we wanted to spend at this time. Uh, so I've decided to uh, attempt it myself. And uh, what that means is I need to put the car back together because uh, I need to be able to tow this because uh, I'm going to take it over to a buddy's house uh, and we're going to do it there because I can't do it in my own driveway. So, uh, Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put the car back together, get it back into a rolling shell, and then uh, once that's done, I'll bring you back, show you what we're going to do. All right, so I've got the car back together. So I got the chassis all bolted back together, made sure everything was tight, got the body bolted back on, that's nice and tight, and uh, went ahead and put it back on tires. So we are ready to tow this away now. Our next steps. Uh, are really to go ahead and disassemble the rest of the car. We got to get all the glass out. We got to take the door mechanisms out. We want to take all the rest of the electrical out. And uh, basically, we need to strip down to just an empty shell. But before we get going on that, let me just show you the areas that we're actually going to be sandblasting, just to kind of give you a, a heads up here. All right, so the primary reason we are going to be sandblasting is specifically for this vent area right here. We need to be able to get in there and remove all the paint and clean everything up so when we get fresh paint in there, everything looks good. The problem is you've got these vents on the outside and there's no way of getting in there. And then there's a cowl on the inside that is non-removable. It is actually welded to the body. Now I did look at possibly removing that, doing all my prep work and welding it back in, but I think that's going to be more headache than it's actually worth. So we're going to try this sandblasting, and if we can get that all cleaned up and looking nice, that should save us a whole bunch of headache. If you take a look in the engine compartment here, there's a lot of corners and a lot of weird areas and hard areas to get to, and I really don't want to be trying to sand all that by hand. I don't want to be using chemical stripper because I don't want it to be getting stuck in between any panels and potentially leaching out in the future. So we want to sandblast this area to get that nice and clean. Another area that we're going to be focusing on uh, besides just the engine compartment is going to be this uh, lip seal area. So this is the engine compartment seal and it's held into a little channel here and I want to get all the crap out of there uh, so when we get some fresh paint in there we don't have any worries about the old paint flaking off. All right now up here in the front of the car just like in the rear we've got the lip seal here uh, that's stuck in a channel. We want to get that channel cleaned out. Over here, looking at the door, uh, one of the areas we want to focus on is going to be this channel that holds the door seal. If I look down inside here, I can actually see old glue that held the original door seal in and then that was peeled out. The car was painted and painted right over all that residue and the last thing I want to do is put more paint on top of that because we don't want any of that stuff peeling out. So I want to make sure I get all of this cleaned out. And, you know, sandblasting just is going to be a much easier way of getting all that crap out of there. And finally, uh, one of the last areas we're going to work on, um, if we have enough time and enough sand, uh, will be the window frames. So we're going to pull all of the windows out, get those out of the way, and hopefully we'll be able to blast all those out and get those cleaned up. Our focus is still going to be the rear intake vent uh, under the deck lid and under the hood. If we can get those areas done, uh, the rest of it's just going to be a bonus. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get the rest of the car stripped. I'm just going to get to it. I'll see you in a bit. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling the glass out now. And uh, we'll start up here with the windshield. And really, it's, uh, it's not a bad job. If you were trying to save the window seal, uh, it really kind of takes two people. You just peel the seal back and, and you can push things out. In this case, this seal is all hard and uh, really no good anymore. 
and with what we have planned we don't need this seal anyway so the easiest thing to do is just to reach in here and just cut the cut the lip off so I've just got a, a sharp utility knife and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and slice around the frame here and then the, the glass should just push right out so we'll just go right here make sure you're cutting all the way through the rubber All right, so with the seal cut most of the way around here, we should be able to just give this a little push, and there it is. So now I'll hop outside, we'll pull this the rest of the way out. And there we are, easy enough. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the rest of the glass taken out here, and then, uh, I'll get the doors taken apart and get all that stuff sorted. And then at that point, we should be able to just take the, uh, the rest of this miscellaneous stuff off and get that put away.
All right, well, there we go. I think we're all set to go. We've got everything removed from the body now, so really it's just an empty shell. When we get over to my buddy's place, what we'll do is we'll pull the doors off, set those off to the side so we can get to the door jams and the inside of the door frames, and uh, we'll pull the body off the chassis so we can get to some underneath stuff. But uh, other than that, uh, we're, we're all set here.